Hey YouTubers, Rob Moffitt. Guys, this video I want to show you the end result of the picture frames I used to make. I used to have a little business on eBay where I would sell paintings, primarily Florida landscape paintings. And some of them would be smaller, like 24 inch by 24 inches, but some of them would be quite large. The large ones I had to make my own frames and mount the paintings on masonite. And I was just had a very small profit margin because the artist were I had a deal with them, but I wasn't making much, so I had to. I did all the the, the paperwork, the selling, and, and the shipping, and the framing, and the mounting, and everything. And they just did the the painting. And uh, but uh, I'm not complaining. But I had I had very low profit, so I had to do the, whatever I could with least amount of money. And this is what I came up with. This frame, it's a rustic frame, which is perfect for the style of art that we were selling. It was primarily Florida landscape in the style of the highwaymen painters. And they would provide me with the canvas, and I would put them on masonite. But then to frame them, I used tongue and groove. This is tongue and groove pine. And I finished it with cherry uh, stain from uh, Minwax. The, the company's been around for over 100 years. They've, they're the great stuff. Uh, this is about 12 years old. It could use probably another coat. Um, it was a little bit light when I put it on. Now, this particular scene is from the St. John's River in Florida. It's an, taken from a postcard from years ago, from like 120 years ago. Um, but what I want to show you is the, the frame. This is tongue and groove, and this was done with a miter box by hand. It wasn't any uh, power tools. And... Wherever I had any uh, cracks, <laughs> I just took some wood uh, putty and, and sawdust and filled it in to sand it down. So it's not something you would want to put in the museum, but for a rustic painting, um, uh, it fits the style that we're going for. And like I said, this was all done with hand tools in my one-bedroom apartment over my beach. But the cool thing is, check out the back. So this was done back in 2007, about 14 years ago. The tongue and groove, here's the lip of the tongue and groove, the tongue part. The groove part, I took a hand chisel and a hammer and just chiseled out the lip of the, of the groove part. So this masonite fits inside of the, of the wood. It can be placed down on top. And that was the easiest way for me to do it. I used a little metal brads. There's a tool you get to, to uh, push in the little uh, metal points. You can get them rather inexpensively. And I put some plywood gussets to reinforce the edges because this is just wood glue and I had a, 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 a strap that went around the edges of the frame and I was able to tighten up with a ratchet. So uh, it was all done on the floor of my one bedroom apartment over in Miami Beach. <laughs> and this is masonite, the canvas is attached with a uh, carpenter's glue and it's it's held the very first one I ever did I put on too much glue and it bubbled and I never did that again I always made sure that all the other ones and I did, did hundreds so it just it was moist it wasn't any pools of glue at all just moist and a little bit of pressure and it, it's held up it's very good to ship this way because it's hard to damage the painting because it's it's reinforced with the masonite in the back you put put the uh, cardboard corners over when you ship to protect the corners and wrap it up in plastic really good and put it in a box. But that's a very inexpensive way to make rustic frames. Use your tongue and groove. And if you have a, uh, a power tool, it's a lot easier to make your miter cuts. Um, and in order for me to get the masonite in, uh, you, you can do it without cutting out the grooves, but it became a lot more problematic for me. So I just cut out the grooves and just place it down flat and popped in the little points. It worked good for me and I didn't even have to use any power tools. So so if you need to make some rustic frames get a hold of some pine tongue and groove. It comes in much smaller uh, widths. You don't need uh, the large widths for, for smaller paintings. But it it's, looks very nice. Uh, no one would know that it was done with hand tools. And it, that, in fact, that was just plain old pine wood. Um, so something you might want to consider if you're making frames. I know a lot of people don't like putting the canvas onto masonite 
Uh, there, there's many different approved methods, but for the, the style and, and the type of paintings we were doing, it, it worked out fine. And nobody ever complained about the method that was mounted. So, all right, hope there was something helpful to you guys. You check out my stuff. I put on new videos every week. Been doing 14 years, got over a thousand videos, and a bunch of cool playlists. And also cool people I feature on my channel. No relation to me down the bottom of my channel. <laughs> and like I said, y'all come back, put on new stuff every week. Take care. See you out there.